Hello, my friends. It's time for another fantastic Revit tip. Now, this Revit tip came to me from a comment that someone put in another video. <clears throat> the video I'm speaking of was like demolition in a linked file. Okay. And what I had done in that Revit tip was in one file, the existing file, I had set every object in there to existing. And then I linked that into a new file and proceeded to use the phasing as the same. I was basically going into the old project or drawing existing construction as existing in an existing phase. But this video is going to show you how you can take a full Revit project that's got schedules, that's got even phasing in it. And it's got, um, it's, it's a project that you did last year and you, it's the final finished project with new work that is um, that you, printed some working drawings and you sent it to the contractor and they built the building last year. But you want to use that file as it is without messing it up and making every single object into an existing phase to move forward. We're going to use that file as it is. We only have to change one thing. And I want to show you that in this Revit tip. All right, let me share my screen with you. Dun, dun, dun. Share my screen with my friends. Okay, so here we are. We, what I want to do is hold it, hold it. What I want to do is pause this video and change the resolution of my screen. So hold on a second. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, how do I do that? Pause video. Okay, be right back. All right, so sorry about that. I had to leave for just a moment and change the resolution of my screen to help you guys see things better. Okay, so sorry about that. I hope I've never done that mid video and so we'll see if it works. I like just doing things on the fly. Okay, so here we go. What I'm gonna do is open two. I'm gonna, someone else made a comment that said, hey, why don't you make your face a little bit smaller and then you won't have to keep moving it all the time. I'm like, okay, I'll try it. So my face is smaller. Maybe that's small. Maybe that's too small. But whatever. Okay. Okay. So here we go. I am going to say open and I'm going to open this file. Old project from last year. Okay. I'm going to hit open. Okay. So here we are with an old project from last year. Wait for it. Takes a second to open, of course, because this is Revit. All right, wait, boom, we're open. And if I go to the plan, hey, somebody might recognize this floor plan. It's a project from last year. Okay, this is a full project. We've got schedules, we've got elevations, we've got sheets, we've got everything. This is not just a quick model of existing conditions so that we can move forward with renovation. No, this is just a normal project that I finished last year, okay? Now, I'm gonna open two sessions of Revit so that I can update one file and link it into the other and not have complications. You guys know what I'm talking about. So here we go. I'm gonna open up another project and here we go, open. And this project is called, wait, desktop documents, well, there we go. New renovation of old project. Sounds legit. New renovation of old project. Open. Basically, it's empty. This is just an empty file. It's, I could have hit start new file, but I had this just um, ready to go. So anyway. So here we are, I'm gonna to go to the plan and this is brand new and bam, there's nothing here, okay? So you guys know the mapping of the phases for these. And so I'm just gonna show you some. Watch this. If I link the existing building in 
as is, it's not going to work for this. The Revit tip is going to change things, but I want to show you not how, I mean, how not to do it first. It's only take a sec. Look at this. Insert, link Revit, go to, I'm going to link in the old project from last year. I'm just going to bring it in origin to origin, okay? If I bring it in, what happens in Revit is it is mapping, wait, it's coming. It links up and lines up the phases, okay? So this is what it looks like, okay? It looks all like new work is going on. So what I'm gonna do is click, I'm gonna click on the link and I'm gonna go to edit type button and scroll to the bottom. And right here is phase mapping. It's listed under the category of other. When I click on phase mapping, take a look. The links, the old project existing phase is matched up to my existing. And the old project's new is mapped up to my new. So when they're working perfectly parallel to each other and lined up with each other, then this project is not acting like an existing model. You guys see that? It's not, it looks like new work. If I were to draw new walls, you couldn't tell the difference between my new walls and the old walls. So, and the phasing is not set up the way you want it to be renovating the old project file, okay? So here's what we're gonna do. Let me just dump it out of there for now. Well, I'll just leave it connected to show that you can leave it connected and this will still work. Let me jump back over to the other project and show you what we have to do to the existing project. There's one thing we need to do to get it ready to work for a renovation. It, use it as a link in a, for renovation. So let me just jump back to the other one. Bam, there we are. Now we are in, if you look at the top, the old project from last year, okay? So since I'm in the old project from last year, I'm gonna go look at my phases, okay? I'm gonna go manage phases. And the phases are set up like they're supposed to. There's an existing phase, things that happened when this project started, anything existing, and there's new work, for all of my new walls and stuff. This was last year, remember? When you want to use this project as an existing file, linking it into a new project for renovation work, here's what you need to do. You need to click on, click on this last one, one, two, three, however many you have, the last phase you have in here and click insert a phase after the one that is in here. So basically, where we left this last year, everything was in new construction. But I archived the file and I have made a copy of it. And so here it is ready to use for my demo. This new phase that popped in as phase three, which is the next one, I'm gonna name it future. Just work with me, name it future, and say, okay. All right, so now this is an old project file, but I just tossed in a phase called future, okay? And let me show, it how, show you how it works. If I want to renovate things in this file and demo stuff, I can now, okay? So let me just hit save, wait for it. All I did was add a phase. That's all I did, I added a phase. And now I'm gonna switch back over to my other project, okay? So here I am. And if I update, watch this, I'm gonna say file. No, 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 I'm just gonna scroll down to the bottom of my browser and expand Revit links and right click on my old project from last year and reload it. What it's doing, it's reloading the file. And the only thing that's coming through now that's different, the only thing is that it has a different phase. I've added a new phase called future. 
Now, here's the trick. And you're going to love this. You click on the link, okay? And we go back to the same place we were just a moment ago. You click on the link. You go to Edit Type button. And down at the bottom, you scroll down to the category of Other. And there it is, Phase Mapping. And we click Edit. Now, here's the trick. Wait for it. The phase from the link that needs to line up with my existing is the stuff that was new work because that's now going to be existing. So I need to change this phase from link to be the new work stuff, the new construction. The new construction from that old project a year ago is mapping up to be existing now. Does that make sense? And anything that is getting demoed and changed is going to be demoed and changed in my new construction phase. So I click here and switch this phase from the link to be future. So anything that is in the future in that old project is going to be new construction here. I know that might sound a tiny bit confusing, but work with me and I'll show you how it works. I'm going to say, okay, okay. So instantly, anything that was new in that old project is popping in here and it's becoming existing. You see how the plan grayed out on me? What's up with that? It grayed out. And if I go to demo, if I have a demo um, view, my demo view is set up for a new construction phase and it's showing previous and it's showing demo, but there's nothing demoed. So how do I show demo coming out of this existing? All I need to do is go back to the old file, okay? The project from last year, and I need to demo objects and tell them they are getting demoed in the future. Does that make sense? It's kind of like you go back a year and say, these four items are going to be demoed when I do renovation in the future. So here we go. I'm going to show you how it works. I'm going to pop over there now. Let's go back to that old project. So this is my old project file. And I'm going to say, okay, I want this wall to be demoed in the future, this um, curtain wall. So I'm going to highlight the curtain wall and I go over to its properties and the phase that it was created in was new, but it's going to now be demoed in the future. And nothing happens visibly here in this file. And that could be a little bit confusing because you can't tell what's been demoed and what hasn't. So my suggestion to you is here in this file, you do one more thing. You go to, you, you create a view, a demo view, okay? And the demo view is set to, take a look, we set the phase to future, and it is set to show previous and demo. When you do that, then you have a really good visual in this, this old project. It's just a new view you had to create. So we've created two things. We created a phase called future, and we created a view that is in the phase of future, but it shows previous and demo. That way, it makes it so much easier for us to demo things. So look what I did. I just demoed that wall. Let's just say I want to, I'm going to grab, I'm going to go to modify. I'm going to get the hammer out and get the big hammer. Under geometry, I'm getting the hammer. I want that door to be demoed in the future. And I want this wall to be demoed in the future and this wall also. Let's just stop right there. Can you guys see what I've done? All I did was I demoed a few things in that old project from last year. And when I hit save, it saves the file. I switch over to my other project. And all I have to do is reload. I'm going to right click on the Revit link and hit reload. and my demo view is going to update to reflect exactly what the other demo view shows. So I can do all my sheets 
right here in this project because it's going to update here the same. Look at this. It updated here exactly the same as it was back in the other project. And if I go to my new work plan, those walls are gone. Okay. So that's it. That's how you work with a full blown Revit project file. And you take the Revit project file, you simply do two things. You set a future view, I mean, a future phase, and then you make yourself a view that's set to future that's showing the, um, the demo items and previous. That way you can move around and demo certain things. And once you save it, it shows up in the new work in the renovation plan. Ah, that's the way to do it. Okay. So if you've got a project that you are pulling out of the archives because your client wants you to renovate some stuff, this video, you need to watch this video twice until you make sure you got things set correctly. And you can use that old project, pull it out of the archive and, and uh, work with it for a new renovation. All right. I think that's all for now. I just wanted to show you what I had discovered based on a comment from one of you guys out there. So again, if anybody has comments, put them in the box below the, um, the comment box and ask questions or ask for a demo video or not a demo video, but a Reddit tip video. And then I'll do my best to get it up there for you. All right. I hope that helps everybody. And until we meet again, happy Revit. All right. Bye-bye.